Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hola. Um, today I'm going to be giving you a tour of this front room that I have recently updated. So I'm just going to walk through everything and show you what everything is and what I've changed. All right, this is the entryway to our home. We have a black door here that's been black since we pretty much did it the first year or two that we were here. Um, here I have a table from CB2 in the entryway. It's clear acrylic. The umbrella stand is from Z Gallery. I've got some hunter boots. I've got a really cute lamp from Home Goods. The mirror is from One King's Lane. And then I have some books just from Amazon. I have a little glass box here from Hugh that he got for me for Mother's Day from Marshalls. I have a cute Jonathan Adler candle that I also got for Christmas from Richard. And there are the cute little books there. Got Alexa Chung, black and white, um, and a little bit in between. I got images of movie stars, fashion book, and a Coco Chanel book. So just kind of some fun ones. I picked uh, books to go on here that would kind of go with the color scheme of this whole front room. So that is the entryway here. Then I went ahead and painted this mirror that I've had black forever. I bought it black. But I'm really just trying to lighten up the space in here. So I spray painted it white, which is super easy. Just did masking tape and brown paper and covered the whole mirror. And then just spray painted all the rest white, which is really nice because I was kind of showing Evelette my tips and tricks of how to spray paint. So she was helping me with that. Here is the very front room. I love the look of it. It's I've added this big white fluffy rug that is so, so soft. And I really just like how it just brightened up this whole front space. And it's not just plain either. It has a cool pattern on it, and but it's not like super graphic, but just a little bit hint of interest on it. So I really like that. And just the softness alone, it's just, we all just kind of want to rub our feet on it and <laughs> lay on it, it's so soft. And then I got these two pink chairs from Target. They're around $200. I got them on sale. And then I think with shipping, it was around $200 total. So I got two of these. I started off with one, and then I really wanted another one to be uh, a pair. And yeah, they're actually really comfortable. We just sit in here and talk, and it's really nice. I have this table that we've had for a while that I got on, got on Craigslist. And I think it's really cute and pretty. Has cute detail of the legs. How it has kind of like a H in the middle there. This aloe vera plant has gotten so big. I have uh, it in a pot from CB2. And then I have like this little gun vase that I got off of Amazon. This right here is a big quartz crystal that we got in Nevada on our road trip from last summer. This big vase is from CB2 as well. And then this box is from Target. And I think the little faux plant is from CB2. <laughs> I do a lot of my home decor shopping on CB2 for like the little cute stuff. They really have some cute, unique things. And then that little leaf plate is from, now I'm going blank, but I think I've talked about that in a past video, but I'm going blank as to where it came from. Over here is a chair that Richard and I redid probably 10 years ago. I had two of them. I'm storing one right now because I'm just using this one. But it is a chair that we redid with outdoor fabric. And then right now I have my Pendleton blanket laying on it. It's kind of cute. It's just, it adds a little bit of contrast to the room. I didn't want to get rid of all the black, but just most of the black. So I think this is kind of just a cool contrast to the room. Over here I have Louis Vuitton and Hermes boxes, just to be kind of cute, something to sit on the floor. And then I have an antique lamp that's really cute. I need to get it fixed because when you plug it in, it smells like fish or something burning. So. I don't think it's up to code, so it would probably be nice to get that so it could actually work. And here we have my desk. I got this planner from the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. I got some fresh flowers from the yard and from the Saturday Market. I have my laptop cover that I got from Amazon. I got a cute lamp from West Elm. 
the peace sign is from Target and the stapler is from Target as well and then the little faux plant is from CB2 and then the mimosa candle is from Nordstrom's. And over here we have my spray painted file cabinet. I just spray painted it white. I think you can buy them painted already. Um, you can buy them white already, but mine was black and then I painted it yellow and then I wanted it white. So I painted it white quite a while ago. And then I have my little clear paper holder here that sits on top, kind of organize papers, make them look a little nicer. And then over here is the chairs that I talked about from Target. I have my big fiddle leaf fig here in a basket from Target as well. And then my Prada Marfa sign that I got off of Etsy. Down here is an ottoman that I've had forever from Target. And then just some cute fashion books from Louis Vuitton and Louboutin and Jimmy Choo. So some fun ones there. And it kind of makes it a little bit more of a table with some books on top so you can set stuff on top of there. Have a little more of a flat surface. Then over here we have the couch from Cost Plus. I don't think they sell this couch anymore, but it's just a really pretty couch. It has tufts all on the back and it's just a really nice size. Um, then I have pillows from, the palm ones are from Etsy. The fringe ones are from Nordstrom. The pink one in the middle that I love that I just got recently is from William Sonoma. And then the white faux fur blanket is from Target. So in this whole space, I really just wanted to stick with blushes, whites, creams, tans, tiny bit of black, but I really just wanted to go with a nice and light, neutral, just bright feel in this room just to kind of brighten up the Oregon winters. So I'm really loving the way it turned out. The task lamp, I'm not sure where it's from, but I think it was one of those ones that you could buy them on several different websites. You know how some stores carry the same stuff, so I think that was kind of one of those deals. I just went to the best just went and got the best deal on that one. Over here I have a picture. The frame is from Joann's and then the actual Marilyn photo is from, from Etsy. So I just have that kind of leaning against the ground. It kind of just gives it a little bit more of an artsy feel if it's not hanging up. Just kind of a little bit more interest back there behind the little bar cart. This bar cart was from Target. They might actually still sell it. It's not this color. It doesn't come this color. I actually spray painted it. So I would just encourage you if you buy something that's like mass produced and from a big chain store, don't be afraid to paint it or do something to it. You know, add wallpaper to it on the tray or something like that just to make it your own a little bit and a little bit more unique that way. So that way it doesn't look like everybody else's. And I just have a bunch of fun stuff on there. Fun drinks and cups and bottles and straws and just a whole bunch of stuff just to kind of make it fun and always a party on that cart. Then over here I have our little reading nook that I think is so cute. I got this bench, it was actually a coffee table and we put foam on the top and covered it with an old rug, an old cowhide rug. And then recently I just got that faux fur, it's not a throw but it's like of sheepskin kind of. I don't know if it's real actually. Um, but that is from Cost Plus as well. And then that little lamp. I'm forgetting like all where the lamps come from. I think that might, might be from Lamps Plus actually, but it's a sconce that hangs on the wall and then the cord goes um, behind that or inside that metal thing that kind of um, just leans against the wall there. So it looks a little bit more finished rather than just a cord hanging down. And then I have all the books underneath there, so it definitely makes it look more like a reading nook with all the books kind of lined up there and just cute and cozy there. Um, I thought I knew the name of this plant and then somebody corrected me, so now I'm just not going to pretend like I know, but it's cool when it, when these get a little bit bigger, they start to split and it looks so cool, like a little bit more tropical of a plant. This used to be in our kitchen, but I moved it here, so it kind of just adds a little bit more something to this nook and a little something to this wall. The kids are playing in the other room. So if you hear stuff, it's my kids' family. They're doing good. They're being really quiet. All right, so over here I added this big, huge palm leaf, banana leaf thing. I'm not gonna pretend like I know the name of it. Um, I got that from Home Depot last summer 
and we put it in this West Elm pot that I love. I think that's definitely a good investment is to get some nice pots. This one is just like heavy duty and it just looks really nice. It's got a cool texture to it. Um, the basket back there is from Hobby Lobby as well as the pillows. These modern chairs I've had for a long time, but a lot of websites sell them. I think they're called Pantone chairs or S chairs, but I think we got ours off of Overstock. Then I have an antique table. It's really nice because leaves come out either end of it, so it makes it a longer table if you want. The rug here is from CB2, and I really love it. It's a very interesting, kind of cool pattern to it. And then that dresser back there, I've had for a long time. Uh, it used to be green back in the day, and we just painted it white. The lamps over there are from Lamps Plus. And that artwork, I actually have a tutorial on a previous video of how we did that. And then the horse and rider are from Goodwill. It's really cool, kind of an Asian guy. There's the horse and rider. The box is from West Elm. The orchid or the urchin thing is from Furbish Studios or Furbish, I think, online store. And then the Tom Ford book is from Amazon as well. So that's all in the dining room here. These curtains are a new addition. These curtains were from the Nordstrom sale. They're blackout curtains. They're actually kids' curtains. They have little tiny stars on them that I didn't actually notice when I first bought them. They don't really show on the website, but they're really cute, like little silver stars. So they're just this really pretty blush color. They actually were only $30 for the pair for this sale. And I don't think they're actually that expensive normally either. So really good deal. And I liked the length. I made sure I did them a little extra long so that if they do ever shrink, because that is one thing that I've learned over the years, probably my biggest lesson, is that curtains shrink no matter how you clean them. So it's always better to do them a little bit longer than what you think. And then this light fixture is one that we got on the Oregon coast in an antique store. And I still just love it. I'm obsessed with it. It's so fun to have some of the antiques mixed in with all of the modern stuff. Just that way it gives a little bit of contrast to new stuff. So there we are. That's a tour of our front room. I'm really liking everything and just how light and bright it is. This makes me so happy, so cozy. I want to hang out in here way more. And I think it turned out really pretty. I have the best husband ever for letting me put pink in our house. <laughs> I guess it's a little better than like hot pink. It's a little more subtle. I know a lot of people say like light pink is kind of a neutral. But... All right, that's the tour, you guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye.